ओके स्टूडेंट्स सो एज यू कैन सी नाउ वी हैव द सेटअप फॉर द एक्टिवेशन एक्सपेरिमेंट सो दिस इज द मोस्ट सिंपलेस्ट वन सो अदर एक्सपेरिमेंट्स आल्सो वी कैन परफॉर्म इन द सिमिलर मैनर वी जस्ट हैव टू फॉलो द प्रोसीड्यूर्स एज मेंशन इन द मैनुअल ओके सो व्हाट वी आर डूइंग हियर यू सी फॉर द एक्टिवेशन एक्सपेरिमेंट वी हैव टेकन आउटपुट फ्रॉम वन ऑफ द लेजर सो दीज आर ऑल द डिफरेंट लेजर्स सो दिस इज आउटपुट फ्रॉम वन ऑफ द लेजर व्हिच लेजर 850 नैनोमीटर्स ओके सो इफ यू कैन स्टॉप इट now uh, as you can see there are different laser options here given in the control panel as well so this is like a software control device so you can control the different options in the device from the software that is already provided with the instrument so now i am taking output from one of the laser so i have to turn that laser on i have to tell the microprocessor to turn that laser on so you see one of the laser is ticked here 850 nanometer so there is a tick mark here so that laser is on uh the few parameters as i said earlier the frequency duty cycle laser power all these things you have to set so again the values that you should start with are all mentioned in your manual okay so 50 kilohertz is basically the frequency of the pulses that you will be going to see now 20% is the duty cycle that means it is on off 20% of the time it is on okay uh and the rest of the time it is off uh or overall 20% on of the total time of one complete cycle uh then you have this laser power okay so again some values are given to you you can start with that so let's say i selected those values and i click start so notice that uh, my oscilloscope starts showing some signal why is it showing signal because you see the output from this laser is taken by this uh, if you can see by this patch cord which is again basically a uh, fiber optic cable small fiber optic cable and then it is fed to one of the detectors okay there are five detectors the one that is suitable for 850 nanometer is the lower one which we are connected to okay these are suitable for ir lasers which are this upper laser okay now the output from the detector is taken by this bnc cable as you can see this bnc cable is going and it's going into the input for the oscilloscope so this is the two channels for the oscilloscope input and the oscilloscope is showing the signal here okay the yellow signal is not showing anything because it's not getting any signal the green one is basically the signal that you are feeding into the channel one okay just as any oscilloscope you will see again the the x and y axis here x and y axis are sort of calibrated so you can make measurements from the scale uh, from the screen itself okay you can control uh, the display basically you can see here channel 1 voltage 1 volt that means one box is representing one volt so if you change it here so if the size of the uh, uh, pulses will sort of either increase or decrease you see now i've changed the one box is now 2 volts so it is decreased so again i make it one volt so it will go back to its original size okay so these are all different controls that are available to you uh, you can move the signal up and down using all these different controls you can make measurement from the using options in the oscilloscope okay Uh, or you can directly read from the screen also now also another thing you should be noticing here is this one so this is the laser block this is the detector block this is the oscilloscope block okay uh, or other controls are also there uh, now the detector block you see only one of the detector is showing a reading here as you can see in this one in this screen okay so this is the detector 5 that is why because it is getting signal so it's showing you a reading so this is the intensity of the laser for this particular circuit that you have Okay, average intensity. Now, um, for the experiment, what you will be doing is uh, you will be measuring attenuation. That means you will be connecting different fiber optic cables of different lengths to the laser power, and then the output of that fiber optic cable you will connect to the detector, and you will see how this uh, intensity is changing or the power is changing with the length of the uh, fiber optic cable. So, for example, I have a spool of fiber optic cable. So, it is like uh, winding. Uh, this one is like two kilometers. There is another one that is three kilometers. You can see here. There is another one one kilometer. So, you can make it combine these things as well. Okay. So, how you connect them? So, again, uh, these fiber optics have again at the two ends of the optic cable, you have these connectors that is built in there. Okay. So, what I will do is basically for all the steps, I have to first stop it. Otherwise, it will not work. So, then I will remove the the patch cable that has gone to the detector so i will take the output of the laser and i will pass it through the 2 km length fiber optic first okay. let's say i connect one end here the other end of the fiber optic again i am using another patch cord here for connector and putting it back to the detector okay so now instead of a single like a patch cord this is going through a 2 km long fiber optic cable right this is a very long fiber optic cable so now obviously the intensity will reduce so i can see that now if i click again start so again you see now the strength of the signal is decreased 
Previously, it was like about four bones, right? It was like four blocks. Now it has decreased almost half. From the detector, also you can see the reading has decreased. Microwatt it gives you readings in microwatts as you can see here, which is mentioning. Previously, it was almost hundred. Now it is like almost forty. Right? So it has there is a significant drop. So as you can see, by introducing a two-kilometer length, I have reduced the intensity of the uh, light at the end of the fiber cable, right? So that is giving you a measure of the attenuation of the optical signal as it travels through this fiber optic cable. Okay. Similarly, now what you can do, you can connect one spool to another. For example, if I connect this two kilometers to this three kilometers, I will get five kilometers total. So you can similarly, I can connect other uh, spools that are available to me. Okay. So this way, you can do this attenuation experiment.